how pretty it is. Mm. All this was grown locally. Know the guy that grew it. So I know it's right. That's some good Indian corn right there. Look how beautiful this corn is. Look at it all marbled. Look at that. That's awesome. I can't wait. All right. This dude told me his trick. I was going to try and design something similar to this, but he said, take a PVC pipe, put some screws in it, and you can adjust your screws. I didn't have no PVC pipe besides this, and this went to uh, some fireworks. So basically, I put this on the ground, and uh, I screw my drill into this. I'll show you. I'll put you on a tripod. And take your corn, shove your drill bit in there. It gets a lot of it. The thicker they get, the more you're gonna have to back your screws out. But that's that's set up for the little ones. Uh, let's see, there's another little one. That one takes a left. When they're crooked, it kind of screws you up. Yeah, that one was good. Then you just take your uh, your artillery tube. Boom. Of course, wash this first, but that, that was a good idea. That guy on TikTok. This it, it, must not have, that might. He must have had to do this quite a few times to think of that. I, I was going to de design something similar to this but stronger maybe out of metal <clears throat> but this saved me a bunch of time thanks for the idea bro um i forget which, which guy well i forget his name there's a few of them on there but that guy knows his shit all right i got all my indian corn chucked pulled off the cob that's a lot of work. <laughs> I have to say, I know why people buy big bags of it. But uh, we're going to take 17 pounds. This is extra. This is all for next time. Plus, I'm, I'm going to mill this through my mill. And I'm going to make some uh, cornmeal. Um, I'm going to make some cornbread out of some of that. See how it goes. Uh, 17 pounds in this mash. If you ain't got a scale, if you got a one quart mason jar, if you got a one quart mason jar and you see where my thumb is, if you fill it up to there, that's a pound of corn. Just to let you know if you ain't got a scale. Now, I'm gonna adjust my, uh, my mill to where to crack. It's, uh, but you, you get the idea. I'll show you when we're cracking some. All right, don't buy this. If you want to crack corn, it just won't do it. I mean, it caught for a second. It's not cracking it. It's turning it to dust. I mean, if you wanted to use it for barley, 
things like that. Yeah, I bet it would work good for barley, small grain, um, not corn. Smaller grain, it just won't catch. It won't get wide enough. Um, so I'm ordering another one. I'm ordering a different one. I'm gonna send this one back. All right, I got my new uh, my corn cracker. This is my boy Jimmy here. Check him out. Put your corn in there. Comes out down here. I guess you could do wet stuff with this too, like pulp. So I'm thinking I can make a I run apples through it. I haven't tried that yet. Um, you adjust it here. I got it already set up to crack corn, and I don't want to fool with it and get it off track. Um, but I'm going to start cracking that Indian corn. I'm going to make a mash. All right, I got a mash ton. I got a mash ton out of a Home Depot cooler. These are really awesome because they can hold heat in for a long time once you put the lid on them. I want to hold heat in there. In this pot, I got about seven gallons of water. I'm going to bring this to a boil. And I'm going to fill that up most of the way with boiling water. And then I'm going to put the lid on and let it sit for a good hour, maybe hour and a half. We'll come back to you. I'll show you the next step. I just want to make sure we... Turn it down a little bit. Let me hit this, make sure it's good. No, that ain't what it was, man. It's all set now. No, there. man, it's just too tight. Uh -huh. Set it to the all right after about an hour you want to check your temperature and we just checked it it's 150 degrees it's ready to roll so we're gonna dump this in our fermentation vessel fermentation vessel and then we're gonna put three pounds cracked malted barley in there and it's gonna take all that starch in that corn turn it into sugar or whatever it's, go, it's gonna do the thing to the thing that's to the make sure we're getting today put your barley in let that barley get into the bone huff that free base that that smells real good now i love barley i love me some barley So we're gonna let this sit at 150 for 90 minutes. Then we're gonna check the temperature. Then we're gonna do a gravity reading. Well, we'll check our temperature and then add our other water oh, and yeah. bring it down. <laughs> hey, I mean, you forgot a step, bitch. Sometimes 
you assume people know shit. Well, you can't, man, because then they're like, well, you didn't say to do this one little thing, even though I know yeah. everybody knew to do it. Yeah, I do have some stalkers. Put the lid on it. Let her sit for 90 minutes. Come back and start about every 15, 20, 30 minutes, really, whatever you want. Fuck you. Fuck your mama, bitch. So it, we're going to do it with every kind of corn. It's been 90 minutes. We're going to check the temp. And then we're going to add our other three gallons of water. Yep. See what temp we get down to. And then take a gravity reading real quick. And if we need to bring the gravity up, we're going to add some corn sugar. That way we keep it uh, all grain. All right. We got some natural sugars out of it. Not enough to uh, and I just stirred it up. Uh, now I'm gonna add sugar until it gets to 1.060 and then I'm going to add yeast. All right, we only had to add eight eight pounds of sugar to this. We're gonna I'm gonna put yeast in it, stir it up, let it sit for a little while. And then, and then we'll run it. And let's move our Indian corn to our keg and run it and see what we get. All right, I got about 10, 11 gallons in there, that mash. I'm gonna add these three quarts of tails to bring my proof up. Collecting heads. It was a pretty good run. Come out, 1.30. 120, 120, 110, 110. Got this one about 100, and this was just over 90. After this one, I called it, I called it tails. I collected four jars of tails out of it that I'm going to use in the next run. Um, she's pretty good. I really like this, really earthy tasting. It's good, man. I like it. Um, I think it's a good corn to use. And so far, it's one of my favorites. Um, I'll do a side-by-side -side test uh, video with this and some Bloody Butcher. I made some Bloody Butcher also. I think the video's got jacked up from the Bloody Butcher, so I don't know if I'll have a video for that, but I got some shine, and we'll... We'll put the two next to each other and see which one I like the the best. Um, it, it's kind of hard. Um, it's kind of hard because this is really good shit. Um, I really like it, and I can see doing it again. It is a lot of work. I have yet to find... Uh, I got a source for every kind of corn except for Indian corn. I'm talking like you know, 50 pound bag ready to use. All you got to do is crack it. This stuff I had to, you've seen it in the beginning of this video. That's it. Take your mama chicken.